Liberty capped off a three-game homestand with Louisiana Monroe in the Hill City, seeking to do more than just win, but also pass the test. That is play with max effort in all phases of the game. Trying to get going on a rainy, chilly day in the Hill City, Malik Willis back under center after missing last week. Hands off to Peyton Pickett, and he is out like a light. That's right like a light to the end zone for the touchdown. Later, Willis calls his own number from six yards out. Flames take a 14-0 lead early, but the offense went flat. But have no fear, the special teams unit is here. They scored three times in the 40-7 win. Brooke Leonard has more on the Flames' offensive struggles. The Flames are 4-0 after beating University of Louisiana Monroe in a game where the defense and special teams came in clutch when the offense just couldn't get it done. Yeah, I think the uh, special teams and our defense were, you know, as good as I've been around. Malik, to me, played like he'd been out a lot. And he, he just he played rusty and was not crisp. Even the throws that he made that were the right reads were a little off, a little behind people, a little high. And the praises can't be sung high enough for Trayon Sibley, who is in the right place, right time, twice today for a touchdown. I mean, I thought he had a heck of a day, and we challenged him. He's a kid that wasn't on special teams the first two weeks because he didn't embrace it. And uh, to see him answer the challenge and to, to have success, man, it was uh, really nice to see. I love special teams. When I got my chance, I was, I've been waiting on it forever. So when I did, I just did. I executed Coach Burns' plan. It's patient, just waiting my turn, and every opportunity I get, I'm just trying to make the most of it. Now the Flames' next challenge is to prove just how good this 4-0 start was. They'll head to Syracuse next Saturday to take on the Orange kickoff, slated for 12 p.m. In Lynchburg, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports.